Well, all here we are doing another walk around. This one, I've been dying to get to the ultimate version of the new, well, it was a 1000 before this, the 1000 S. So now this is the Trail S. They've called all the uh, 60 inch wides and um, even the smaller 50 guys now are all trails. However, the 60 inch wides are the S models. So pretty cool. I mean, I know you can look over the spec sheets and, and see the differences between this one and the previous models other than you know visual designs and whatnot but there's always a few details of little things that you never and you know until you get right up to them and see and look at them and turn them on and hear them and everything and then all of a sudden you will notice some of the differences and whatnot so we'll just go over the base specs right now that are just on the, the spec sheets I mean hey liquid cooling you get your uh, this is the 1000 not the 900 so you got the the 100 horsepower everything's the same you know fuel injection all that stuff 300 pound box capacity the dry weight is 1360 which is pretty cool for all the stuff that this unit comes with because it does come with um, some accessories already added on and you're still 1360 that's a pretty cool uh pretty cool weight to play around with and whip through the trails with with 100 horsepower so you know you can tow 1500 pounds here's one of my favorite things is the ground clearance on this guy is 12 and a half inches and that's with the stock tires so you can imagine just tossing a little tire upgrade on there and you're up to 13 and a half so I noticed you felt that right away over the other one you just feel like you're sitting up a little more it's just a little more of a of a different style than the other one lots feels the same but then there's certain things that are different so yeah a lot of the chassis is the same there's little tweaks and changes here and there um i just noticed a bunch of little differences so other than that so your overall dimensions which is nice nice and short and stout there you're basically a hair under 111 inches 60 wide with this new cage style you are uh just under 70 inches so if you're still short there compared to a lot of the other sport machines with that ground clearance or they're getting taller for sure so you kind of have that great view visibility sitting up feeling amazing amazing um, line of sights and everything but barely moving your body at all you stick your head just out the door sideways and you can just see everything so it's pretty awesome when you add up everything here you know they're really thinking about the person riding this and in the trails riding a sport version machine yeah it's not the extreme performance and all that of course we get that but just kind of run over the other thing is you know you got the um full doors come on this guy you get the electronic power steering comes on this guy so on the base model of all the trails it doesn't come with eps electronic power steering but it does come on the other two uh, models above you know and the big difference on here you get you're loaded in this machine this is the ultimate it's got uh, the LED headlights power steering it's pretty much got it all so you get the roof another thing a lot of people don't realize too even though you get the uh, ride command you also get the rear view camera in this guy so tons of things here you get 27 inch tires Basically, nines on the front, 11s on the back, 12 inch rims, and then uh, you know, you get your uh, Walker Evans 16 position clicks. So, you got a pretty awesome suspension system going on here. You get to play with that, but yeah, I mean, it, it does when, when you see it and walk up to it, you will really see that all the different little curves and lines. I mean, you got the nicer, bulkier. XP kind of look on the front makes the stance and everything look good Just look at the hood the way it slopes down you can see over it. No problem. These got the boat outdoors for the 60 inch Whereas like the trails are more straight so in comparison there Because it's a 60 inch wide machine. You're also getting a little more room inside as well for you know your arms and everything So everything's just finished nice You got your better uh, dash now you get your ride command, you get your storage right there, you get another whole storage there. 
these are where the two speakers come with this uh, stereo system that comes with it, right? So I've heard it just with the two. Listen to some good old ACDC, and it thumps for two. It's it's amazing. It sounds really good. It's a great starter. And then you could add the other packages later. Your rock for phosphate, like three series, four series, whatever you want. So yeah, you see you got your antenna there for that. This one comes with the roof, which is nice. Like I said, full doors, and they're super nice. Like they're not. They don't look like uh, a cheap add-on. They go in line and line up with everything. Super nice. Latch like nothing. Got the weather seal down there. And these guys too, they also have the, the extra fender guard. So now that you're 60 inches wide, you're still pretty covered there. Pretty darn good. The only thing is like with the cage, it does slope inward. So your arms and stuff there get dirty and all that and I'll come in a bit. But that's why there's tons of aftermarket cages going on everywhere for these guys. Yeah, you pop this easy. You already got your uh, hook up here for a front cam if you want. It's got a huge radiator. It's good. So you can clean it all out and access everything easy. This one, you got your uh, signature lights. Your smoked out LED lights up front. So a lot, like I said, a lot of the chassis still the same and the way everything's set up. Nice and easy to wash as, as most razors are compared to a lot of machines are pretty easy to wash up. But yeah there you go so that's pretty much the exterior all the all the little changes that you won't know until you buy and ride or compared to owning one before previous but yeah it's built pretty pretty bulky here they got the shield over the exhaust too so it's all blacked out from behind um the one thing i like how they brought this look over the rear end i think it really really complements the style of uh, the new trails here makes the back end look so much nicer than the older style which just to quick remind everybody kind of had that look there right so just kind of looks soft and whatever it's more aggressive matches the front yeah you can see how those doors blow out nice and give you that room inside so for a 60 inch machine you still got Big cargo bed, easy access to everything under here. Down to the motor, shocks are super easy. Like maintaining these machines and the chassis of these machines have been around forever and they're amazing, super easy to get to. Pop the hood here, doesn't get much easier than that. Slide it forward. You got your uh, electronics hookups there for everything. All the aftermarket stuff you want to get to check new rad fluid so it's nice and easy access up here to get to just crazy easy this thing just pops on and off super super easy so but what we'll do here is we'll start her up maybe just give her a teeny, teeny little warm up here we'll sit down here the seats as you can tell the seats too are uh they just got a different feel when you sit in them. I know they're the same design as always, but they got uh, some different material that feels a lot better. I noticed that right away. They bolster and actually hold you in really good. I felt the other ones before just felt like you were sitting in a, in a funny thing off the edge, but these ones grab you better. So there's your speakers. I still got tons of foot room down there. No problem. So there is a little more room here looking from uh here you just tilt your head just a tiny bit and you can see everything like your field of view is is amazing so we'll turn around here good old razor 1000 100 horsepower so yeah it's nice you got the uh quick television show before you start here you got your ride command a lot of people already know all about that so it gives you everything all kinds of stuff stereo add your phones and for music and change all your settings you know when you go in reverse you get your backup cam there which is nice pretty awesome setup to be honest for part of the box stock to come with all this stuff 
like you're gonna throw on some aftermarket stuff but a lot of stuff is already here and nice enough and you know i wouldn't last thing i'd be worried about is changing my doors right away when they're already pretty darn smooth looking like this and uh yeah you get to see all your information here engine temp voltage elevation you know, all the ride command cool stuff navigation record your rides all that stuff so you got your four-wheel drive all-wheel drive lights and headlights that's it so there's no winch on this one that would be the first thing that you're going to probably add to this right away that it doesn't have the rear bumper comes down and covers that i'd get a bumper on the front with the uh, winch on it right away and then uh, hit the trails so yeah you got your tilt steering on here on the inside but like you can see the gauge so clear from wherever you're at it's awesome change all your stuff there but yeah it's just not a real loud or noisy machine either it's nice respectively quiet so we're in two wheel right now can we give it a little pep in a sec here all right two wheel horsepower very very smooth wow I feel those engine brakes way more too oh. that was nice to feel that so they kicked in it's hard to tell when everything's new how, how they everything's getting engaged for the rest of its life but definitely definitely some changes been made there just kind of like uh, tiny little refinements and the engagement of the clutching and uh, the engine brakes coming in is an awesome thing. Especially if you're gonna be crawling trails everywhere all the time, so. Yeah, and I don't have that funny, where's reverse kind of click going on, it's pretty easy. What I found too is this goes more forward now, and then when you're high, it's more upright rather than being down further than trying to get into low and high in there. So, all the way park. Pretty easy to do that, so that you get your storage here, get your hookups there, your USB there, got another big storage under here. Well, that one's not too huge, but it's sealed, which is nice. And you got your little bit up there. But like I say, overall, very comfy, very maneuverable. I can see this being one heck of a sporty, cool ride, but I mean, look at that, matching chairs with the doors, everything. That is one slick, out of the box package. You're paying a little more for it, of course, but I mean, these are the things that got everybody so excited in the past to see those lights up front, the LEDs, and you got them up there now. But yeah, it is one cool machine. Now, it is protected and all that with that roll cage and all that. We're going to see if everybody likes that rounded look up top. I'm sure something's going to come out to uh, smooth that up a bit more and slick it up maybe match the lines a little better but uh yeah looks great it's a nice easy maneuverable machine 60 inches is perfect what do you guys think anybody seen these yet or driven these yet i'd like to know I'd like to get some feedback on how they felt they all rode to just put one foot in, step in there, sit down, seatbelt on, done, ready to go. When you're on the trail, I find I like that quite a bit. Is uh, a nice, easy to machine, you know, that's friendly, ergonomically and everything. Because you get in and out of these quite a bit as you're, as you're getting in the trails and getting stuck everywhere and challenging and winching and going to your cooler in the back. But yeah, I think this is one beautiful out of the box package right now. Very, very tempting this one. Hey guys, hope you like the, the walk around and 
I'd love to get some information back and some feedback on these machines from people that have them, whether it's this model or the the base model or the premium model, whichever way. So hope to hear. Yeah, we need a bumper on this front here. I can see smacking that up pretty quick. Okay, stay tuned for more vids, guys. Thanks.